I didn't realize he was vamping <laughs> there. Uh, good morning. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what I hope will be an informative and helpful event that the city of Houston is hosting with the Export and Import Bank of the United States and a number of local partners, including the Houston Minority Supplier Development Council, Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Asian Chamber of Commerce, Indo-American Chamber of Commerce, and South Asian Chamber of Commerce. Uh, the topic we're addressing today is the vast array of supportive networks available to businesses engaged in exporting and importing. I have the great privilege of being the mayor of a city that inherently gets this subject. Uh, I like to say that the business of Houston is business. And it has been for a very long time. There is no rational reason that the city of Houston exists where it does, other than the fact that we were where the railroads met the sea, and we were a nexus of trade, and we were willing to put up with economic and climate conditions uh, that mitigated against that in order to make sure that that trade happened whether researching, innovating, producing, exploring, defending, building, planning, or advising on business, uh, Houston excels. Uh, in fact, Houston is the leading manufacturing city in the United States and a, a growing uh, export powerhouse. And the Port of Houston is America's largest exporting port. I'm a native Houstonian and I've been mayor for a few years now and I still run into Houstonians who don't know that Houston is a port city. Obviously we're 50 miles from the ocean and that's sometimes hard for people to wrap their heads around, but uh, we are a port city because Houstonians were so interested in making sure that we continued to be a point of contact for exchange of goods that we manufactured our own port by creating the Houston Ship Channel. That is commitment to trade and international business. In fact, I should probably change the statement that the business of Houston is business to increasingly the city of Houston's business is international business. And in fact, Tuesday night I just returned from a trade mission to Turkey in celebration of the fact that we now have a nonstop flight Houston to Istanbul in just a few months, midsummer, we'll have a new nonstop flight, Houston to Beijing. We keep connecting Houston more directly to the rest of the world. We do that, obviously it's nice to have the flights, but we do that in order to connect Houston businesses to the rest of the world and the rest of the world's businesses to us. And as we do that, we want the opportunity to provide more opportunity to businesses in Houston. A very common refrain we hear these days is that there's an economic decline in our country, at least relative to a lot of what is happening in the rest of the world. Obviously, there are some booming economies. Well, Houston leads the United States in terms of economic activity. I can confidently say that for the foreseeable future, Houston will continue to lead the United States in economic activity. Every language of business that is spoken in the world is spoken in Houston. And more often than not, by a native speaker. 20% of Houstonians are foreign born. We have in our DNA as Houstonians the desire to innovate, the desire to, to build, the desire to transform, and we attract the best and the brightest from around the world. Some of that is fueled by the major sectors of our economy. I mean, we are still the oil and gas capital of the world, and that is a very international business. But when you look at the other major sectors, the port, 
Texas Medical Center, the largest complex of medical institutions in the world, NASA and aerospace, which gives us a high-tech component, and then manufacturing, you can see that every one of those has a major international component. We're always going to be opening our arms to the world, so it absolutely makes sense to have programs like the one we have today to help do that. Uh, I often get asked as mayor how city government can act to promote business. The short answer is that if we're a well-run city, we offer you a platform on which you operate. Our best responsibility is to make sure that you have the services you need, that you can move goods in and out, that you can operate your businesses effectively. We provide the platform and we stay out of the way. But there's a broader answer and that is that the city can reduce barriers, we can present opportunities such as the one today, and we can open doors which was the point of my, uh, the, the week-long trade mission that we conducted in Turkey. Today you're gonna hear how some of Houston's stakeholding organizations in conjunction with counterparts at the federal and state levels can put resources within your grasp to promote your businesses abroad and to provide a better grounding in just what is available in Houston to some of you who may feel you already are quite familiar with the city and I hope that we can surprise you with the breadth and depth of the resources that we can assist you with. 